This is how much do people pay out of their own pocket when they get sick. Well, in Germany, when people get sick, there are some fees and so on. I think it's, it's 13%. 13% of the cost of health service comes out of the pocket. Sweden is a little the same, and, and, and there are some countries here which is even, even lower. France, it's only 6%. The poorer the country gets, the higher proportion of health service is paid out of the pocket. This means that when I started to lecture about global health, I said global health is easy, poverty causes disease. Today I say global health is complex, disease causes poverty. The most common reason that people fall back into deep poverty is that someone got sick and they sold everything they had, the bicycle, the sewing machine, everything, to sell, save that loved family member. That is an enormous challenge to bring it down. It's partly administrative, partly political, but don't leave that for the political. Go in with your biomedical research also, go in with the clinical research, make it possible. Reduce the number of doses needed, reduce the treatment period needed for different, and you can make it available for all. So we are facing a situation where we, the poor people are paying themselves. Now, why are the governments not paying? Look here. Here I show you, on this axis, income per person again. $300, $3,000, $30,000. Remember this, there's two zeros difference on the incomes. Two zeros difference. You lose one zero, you lose two zeros. These countries have 1% of the resources. When I worked in Mozambique as a government-employed doctor, I had less than 1% of the, of the resources in Sweden. My job was done with more than 100 doctors in Sweden. And I ask myself every morning, what should I do? Should I walk faster and do the same service but faster for every patient? Or should I maintain the quality and just take 1% of the patients? You have to strike a difference. You have to strike a balance between those two. And see here, Ethiopia, how much they have a very low income and they have a very low health budget. This is the government health budget in dollar, 10, 100, and 1,000. Also here, there are two zeros difference. The text is cut out there, but this is government health spending. And in, 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 in Ethiopia, the government spent $13 out of 600 in GDP. It's a smaller proportion. Why do poorer countries spend a smaller proportion? Because they first need to have education and roads and need to defend themselves. They need to have the others. The richer we get, the higher proportion of the GDP we, we spend on health, and the lesser part of health is paid by the individual. It's a quite interesting challenge to know this. If you put in this economical analysis, it will generate new ideas, and you will see that things that you think is not worth doing in research may be worth doing in clinical and biomedical research, just because it can help cut costs. 